Mm, hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Um, today is um, Tuesday, uh, 14 July. And, well, uh, welcome to your uh, video class. Uh, today we are going to check a very interesting topics, no? A topics that are, um, well, that you have seen before, no? Uh, in the previous levels. And today uh, I am going to make a, a quick review of those topics and a, a quick activity just to practice and no more. Because, um, well, the other topic is uh, more related with, um, with the past perfect, no? which is the next topic. But today, it's a quick review no? about these topics and, um, and a quick activity. Okay, so welcome um, to your class. And I am going to share my screen, yeah, like as I always do. Okay, so this is your class today, English class. Um, so this English class, um, level six, 14 July. Okay, let's put it July 14. Plus, okay, and the topics for today, like I say before, a simple pass review. Cuando van a hacer review, el repaso, ¿listo? Simple pass review, pass continuous, pass continuous review, okay? Entonces vamos a hacer un repasito de los dos pasados que ustedes han visto hasta el momento, ¿no? Los dos tiempos pasados, ¿ok? Entonces el pasado simple, past simple, and the past continuous, which you saw in level five, ¿no? In level five you, you saw past continuous, ¿ok? Ok, the topic number one, eh, past simple or simple past is the same, ¿ok? A quick review. Let's remember how to use the simple past, ¿ok? So why we use the simple past. Remember, we use a simple past to describe an action in the past that has finished, okay? So the action happened in the past and the action finished, no more, okay? So we normally use expressions, yeah? Expressions in the simple past. And, oh, sorry, my mistake. We normally use these expressions in the simple past. For example, yesterday in Spanish, ayer the day before yesterday, antes de ayer, in Spanish, last night, no, la noche anterior, ago, no, ago que traduce como hace, sí, y lo compré five weeks ago, hace cinco semanas, one year ago, hace un año, one month ago, hace un mes, ¿no? for any period of time, listo, para cualquier periodo de tiempo, ago, hace, eh, last, ¿no? Como pasado o anterior, o sea, last year, el año pasado, last month, el mes pasado, last night, la noche anterior, ¿ok? So last, ¿no? Como último, pasado, right? And also we have, well, we have these uh, times expressions as well, ¿no? Minutes, eh, hours, days, weeks, months, year, decade, century, ¿ok? So we can say, for example, two minutes ago, no? Do, hace dos minutos, is past. No? Two hours ago, hace dos horas, that's past. Two days ago, no? Hace dos días. Two weeks ago, hace una sema, dos semanas. Eh, six months ago, hace seis meses. One year ago, hace un año. One decade ago, hace un año. One century ago, hace un siglo. Okay, so we can conjugate especially the, same, the expression ago and the expression last, no? Um, with any, any uh, frequency of time in the past, okay? Okay, remember the grammar structure of the simple past, so we always need a subject, remember, siempre un sujeto. Uh, the verb in past, el verbo va en pasado, and the complement, okay? That's why it's simple, okay? Because it's only subject, verb, and a complement. Example, I worked, Hicimos énfasis en la pronunciación del ED con las lecturas. I worked at Apple Company 10 years ago. Yeah? Aquí está la go, ¿no? Hace 10 años. I worked at Apple Company 10 years ago. En español como un trabajé. En español nosotros omitimos este sujeto, ¿no? No, no decimos yo, sino lo omitimos. Trabajé, ¿no? Trabajé. Okay. Yo trabajé. 
Ahí está, yo trabajé, verbo en pasado. Listo. En, en Apple, en la, en la empresa Apple. Hace 10 años. I will be the, the meaning in Spanish, ¿ok? Check the verb, now, el verbo. Trabajé. En español podemos omitir, ¿no? En español podemos omitir el yo, ¿no? Trabajé en la empresa Apple, ¿no? Pero en inglés sí no es posible, ¿ok? Pilas, el verbo, el, perdón, el sujeto siempre, 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 siempre tiene que ir en la oración, ¿ok? No se puede omitir. That's a general rule in English, ¿ok? Eh, ok, remember, we call these regular verbs, ¿ok? The regular verbs, se llaman esos, because we add ed, ¿ok? And also we have the irregular verbs, ¿ok? Los irregulares, which is, for example, the verb gets in present. In past is got, ¿no? Como lo tengo acá. I got my degree in economy in 2006. ¿no? Obtuve el verbo obtener, ¿no? En pasado. Obtuve mi eh, grado de, como economista en 2006, ¿ok? So, eh, what is the difference, ¿ok? ¿Cómo sé que es regular o irregular? That is no difference, ¿ok? We have to learn the verbs. We have to practice the verbs eh, and practice and practice and practice. It's the only way to remember the, the regular and the irregular verbs, okay? Be careful with the conjugation, no? I, okay, I, I right here. In English, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. To conjugate the regular verbs in the past, we add ed. On the other hand, to conjugate the irregular verbs, we must change them, no? We must, debemos cambiarlos, ¿no? Cuando se conjugan los irregulares. ¿Ok? Eh, be careful with the ED, ¿no? La pronunciación del ED, que yo les he hecho tanto énfasis. Entonces, escribe, pero no se pronuncia, ¿no? Worked. Worked. Yo, yo no digo, I work it, ¿no? Be careful, ¿no? I worked. I played. I studied. I, um, I decided. ¿no? Things like that, ¿ok? Be careful. Nunca digo, I, I pledge it. No, no, I played. Ok, uh, types of sentences in the simple past. Uh, affirmative sentence, ok. We need subject, verb in past and complement. Example, she studied computing three years ago. Or uh, another example, affirmative, he went to the party. Okay. So remember, regular and irregular. Negative, for make negative uh, sentences in the simple past. We put the subject, of course. The auxiliary, in this case, is did. The uh, article not. The verb in present. El verbo ya vuelve a presente. And the complement, okay? Sin pasado simple. Entonces, she did not study computing three years ago. Entonces, el verbo ya no le pongo ed ni lo cambio porque tengo mi auxiliar con el que estoy negando. Entonces, básicamente solo conjugaría los verbos cuando estoy afirmando, en pasado simple. Si estoy negando, preguntando, el verbo no va a cambiar. ¿Ok? No, le pongo el auxiliar did, que es para todos los sujetos. Aquí sí no cambia. Entonces, I did, I did not, you did not, he did not, she did not, it did not, they did not, we did not. ¿Ok? So, the same conjugation for everything. So, she did not study completing three years ago, or he did not go, si ya no pongo went, sino go to the party, because it's negative. Okay? Interrogative form, well, I just switch, change the position of the auxiliary. I put the auxiliary first. Será la única vez donde va el auxiliar primero, cuando sea una pregunta. El resto siempre va a ir el sujeto. Then, the subject, no, plus the subject. Plus the verb in present, plus a complement, okay? And very important, the question mark, okay? The question mark. So example, did, no, auxiliary did for everything. She, the subject, study the verb in present, computing three years ago. Yeah. Short answers, yes, she did, or no, she didn't, okay? That's, that will be the contraction. For did not, okay? Remember, didn't. Okay, that is a quick a quick review because you have seen the simple past many times. So it's just very quick. 
So let's pra let's practice, okay? Let's practice with the practicing. We we can be masters. Remember. So simple pass activity one. Use the verse in brackets. Uh, use the verse in the simple past. For example, number one, they work. In past is they worked. Okay. So put the sentence in simple past. This is in present. Put it in past. Present past. Present past. Okay, the same. A uh, bin, a uh, uh, shoes, or yeah, which sentence? Which sentences are correct? For example, uh, number one, which sentence is in the simple past? So choose the correct option, A, B, or C. Cuales well, han pasado simple esas tres? Which negative sentence is in the simple past? Which negative sentence is in the simple past? Which questions is in the simple past? Which, which question is in the simple past? Et cetera, et cetera. An exercise C, the same. A, Choose which form is correct. So number one, I was or I were. So remember the conjugation of the verb to be in past is was and were. The verb to be is irregular, remember. Okay, so I was or I were, I don't know, you have to check. We was or we were, so choose the correct option, A or B, okay? Okay, and let's go to check the past continuous now, okay, which is our second topic. So, to the past continuous, que ya también lo habían visto. Okay. Okay, we normally, uh, sorry, we use the past continuous to describe an action in progress that occurred in a specific moment in the past. We normally use the past continuous next to the simple past. The simple past complements the past continuous. Translation, se usa para describir una acción en progreso, algo que ocurría en un momento preciso en el pasado. ¿Okay? Entonces, describe una acción que ocurrió ¿sí? en un momento específico en el pasado. Entonces, voy a describir qué estaba haciendo ayer a las 10 de la mañana. 10 de la mañana es un momento específico en el pasado. Entonces, a las 10, ¿qué estaba haciendo? Ah, I was, I was cleaning my house yesterday. I was cleaning my house yesterday at 10 a.m., a specific moment, ¿ok? ¿Listo? Entonces, ese es el past continuous, ¿listo? Se usa junto con el pasado simple. Because the simple past complements, ¿no? Como que estaba limpiando la casa ayer. And what happened, ¿no? You, you can leave the, the situation like that. So for a complement, to finish the action, we use the simple past, but don't worry, we, we are going to check the structure and everything, okay? So what is the grammar structure of the, sim, of the past continuous? Yeah? We need the subject, siempre va al sujeto primero. The verb to be in past, remember, the verb to be in past, was or were, you know, depending on the subject. The main verb, el verbo principal con ing, que se lo vieron en present continuous, and the complement, okay? So, example, I was drinking beer. Yo estaba tomando cerveza. In this case, we are describing an action in progress, ¿cierto? Estamos describiendo algo que ocurría en un momento, okay? But, aquí es donde entra el pasado simple. But, we have to complement this action with the simple past. So, the simple past, basically, is going to help the past continuous to finish the action, okay? Because if I say, I was drinking beer, so, estaba tomando cerveza, y what happened, no? ¿Qué pasó? So the simple pass me va a ayudar a, a, a contestar ese, ¿qué pasó? So to connect both sentences, okay? Vamos a conectar past continuous with, with past simple, past continuous and past simple. We use connectors. We are going to use the connectors when or while, no? We use esta pilas con esta regla. We use when before simple past. Se utiliza el when antes del pasado simple. Antes del pasado simple. And we use while y se usa el while antes del pasado continuo. Esa es la regla. Okay? Entonces, when que traduce cuando. While in Spanish, mientras. Okay? Take, taking the previous example. Eso voy a tomar el ejemplo de la cerveza. I was drinking beer, past continuous. When, my connector, cuando, my mom called me. 
una oración en pasado simple. Mi mamá me llamó, ¿ok? Ah, ahora sí tiene sentido lo que está. I was drinking beer. What happened when my mom called me? Ah, ok. So now it's logical. It makes sense, ok. Y entonces utilizo el conector when y tiene que ir eh, a, después, digámoslo, del conector when, tiene que ir el pasado simple. ¿Listo? Y utilizo while para conectar las oraciones. Tiene que ir después de while el pasado continuo. Ok, pilas. I was drinking beer when my mom called. Entonces este when ya me dice que después va a ir el pasado sin. Y este while me dice que después viene, después de while viene el pasado continuo. Ok, pues acá. Ok, while I was drinking beer, my mom called. Me. Eso es la misma, ¿no? Pero utilizo acá el while. While I was drinking beer, my mom called me. Y utilizo el while, acuérdense, para conectar las dos oraciones, ¿ok? Entonces, while, connector, plus, past continuous, coma, simple past, ¿ok? That would be the structure with the two, sentences, with the two tenses, ¿ok? Entonces, mientras, to mientras estaba tomando cerveza, mi mamá me llamó. ¿Por qué no puedo usar el while, el conector while, mientras, eh, antes del del pasado simple. Entonces lo voy a hacer así. While my mom called me mientras mi mamá mi mamá me llamó mientras mi mamá me llamó así la voy traduciendo eh, my, while, while my mom called me I was drinking beer que ya cam cambia completamente el sentido de la oración porque ya no tiene sentido. <risa> Mientras mi mamá me llamó, yo estaba tomando cerveza. That's not logical, ¿no? Maybe the order is, is strange, ¿no? It's not quite logical. Por eso no se puede usar el while y luego el pasado simple. Siempre, si usan el while, tiene que ir después el pasado continuo. Si usan el when para conectar ambas oraciones, tiene que ir después el pasado simple. ¿Ok? I think it's clear. Ok, remember the ing conjugation, ¿no? Remember ing, so for example, the verb go, with ing is going, the verb cut, aquí esta regla, cuando terminan consonant, vowel consonant, double the consonant and ing, the verb study, finish with y, aquí no se le quita la y, se le pone ing plus y, the verb that finish with e, los verbos que terminen con e, Solo le quitamos la E and we add ING. Okay? Esas son como las reglas con ING. Going, cutting, studying, coming, que es traduce el ando, endo in Spanish. Okay? More examples. She was reading the newspaper when, eh, sorry, she was reading the newspaper in the living room when you arrived. Listo, aquí está el when. Luego al pasado siempre, ¿no? They were traveling when the car broke down. So, past continuous and simple past, ¿no? After when. Uh, while, aquí se llama el while, people were working on the road, the earthquake began. So, one more time, while, aquí lo sé, while, entonces después viene past continuous, while people were working on the road, comma, simple past, the earthquake began. I was connecting to internet when the Wi-Fi turned down. ¿no? So, when? Then, simple pass. ¿Ok? Eh, aquí, bueno, una, un repasis, ¿no? Para los sujetos I, he, she, it, the conjugation of the verb to be is was. For the subjects you, they, we, the conjugation of the verb to be in pass is were. ¿Ok? So, was, were. Negative forms, ¿ok? Entonces, si voy a negar el pasado continuo, entonces le agrego solo el not, porque tengo el verbo to be, ¿no? She was not driving her car when the officer called her. Yeah, was not. Or they were not paying attention when the teacher called this. Negative form. My friend was not checking the email when his boss called him. Yeah. In, y si voy a hacer preguntas in, in past continuous, I just switch the place, the position of the verb to be. Because where you? Va primero el verbo to be. But were you climbing Montserrat yesterday about 5 p.m.? Short answers, yes I was, or no I wasn't. No? That would be a short answer for past continuous. 
was she doing? Okay, bueno, entonces, was, porque el sujeto es she. Was she doing her homework last night? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Okay, that would be a question in past continuous, okay? Y si la pregunta es abierta, remember open questions, we have what, when, where, who, which, why, okay? Those are open questions, okay? Como esta, what, una pregunta abierta. What were you doing last night? No, que no puedo contestar. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. No, because they asked me for information. Okay. When, what were you doing? When were you waiting? Um, who was you? I don't know. Who were you waiting? Okay. Something like that. So I have to give information. No? What were you doing last night? I was watching TV. Ah, okay. That's extra information because it's an open question. Let's practice. Okay. Entonces, Orfa, respondame estas dos preguntitas. ¿Qué estaban haciendo? What were you doing the, this morning about 10 a.m.? La misma que yo respondí. And what were you doing yesterday at 9 p.m.? Okay, so answer these two questions. And activity number two. Complete the next sentences with your own ideas. So you have the first part of the sentence. You were working very hard yesterday. Complete, no, complement the second part of the sentence with simple pass or pass continue, I don't know, using your your own ideas, using your your words, okay? So, I don't know, lo voy a hacer para con... You were working very hard yesterday, entonces ya sé que está, va en pasado continuo, entonces tengo que seguir con pasado simple. You were working very hard yesterday when... Eh, when eh, the... I don't know when they when I oh, when, when your when your boss when your boss arrive cuando tu jefe llegue no estás trabajando mucho ayer cuando tu jefe llegue okay so I complete with my own ideas okay entonces así con todos okay one two three four five. Y esta, y esta y no más, ¿listo? Complete the sentences, activity three, complete the sentences with the correct past simple or past continuous form of the verbs in brackets. Entonces, number one, complete. Tienen que escoger si acá la primera parte va con eh, simple past or past continuous. Y lo mismo acá, ¿no? Ya les dan los verbos en paréntesis. So you have to create a sentence, okay Using these verbs. And deciding... If the sentence, the first part goes with simple past or past continuous, depending on, on the context. Remember the rules, ¿no? Si está when, porque después va el pasado simple. Si está while, es porque después va el past continuous. Okay, guys, that's it. No more, okay? Because this is, this is a quick review. It's just a review, so um, we don't need... Um, we don't need to get, we don't need to go deeper because I have to explain the past perfect, which is other past, okay? But for now, let's let's leave it like this, okay? Um, okay, that's all. Um, see you later in class. Take care and uh, bye bye. See you later.